Hi, I'm Kathy Tussler from the Chemical Heritage Foundation, and this case is all about the role of chemistry in medicine. For centuries, physicians believed in Hippocrates' theory of the four humors. They were yellow bile, black bile, phlegm, and blood. Feeling good? Your humors are in balance. Not feeling so good? Well, one of them is out of balance. There were many treatments when you were ill, but one of the most popular was bloodletting. All the tools that you see here were used for the process of bloodletting. It was very simple. They simply took a, a knife, cut your vein, and collected that blood in a bowl for later study. Since there was no germ theory at the time, at best, once the bloodletting was done, they would wipe off the tool, place it on the shelf, and use it again another day on either a human or an animal. It's amazing to me that anybody survived that process. One of the hazards of bloodletting is demonstrated in George Washington's fate. In 1799, he came down with laryngitis and pneumonia, and in the course of one day, his doctors took almost half his blood. Not surprisingly, he died the next day. His doctors were condemned for having killed him, but frankly, for the time, bloodletting was state-of-the-art medicine. Keep in mind that they were not only trying to keep his blood in balance, they were also trying to study it to determine the cause of his illness. One of the tools they would have used is a centrifuge like this because it could separate blood. By 1642, blood cells had been identified. Between 1770, when William Hewson not only identified white blood cells, but also the clotting factor, and 1901, when platelets were discovered, as well as the uh, various blood type groups, enough knowledge had been gained by physicians that they had a better understanding of how the blood system worked in the human body. In the beginning of the 20th century, when more knowledge about vitamins and hormones came along, the thinking about the operation of the human body began to change. No longer were they trying to keep the four humors in balance, now it was a case of keeping the chemicals in balance. And once that notion took hold, many new devices were created to study the chemical and cellular structure of the body. Among them is the Astrop apparatus, which measures the pH balance or acidic level in human blood. And with the success of this device, it rapidly gained use in intensive care units all over the world. And this device, the Coulter counter, changed the process of getting a blood count from a tedious, error-prone task that took at least an hour to a test that happened in less than a minute and was extremely accurate. If you'd like to learn more about chemistry's role in medicine, come visit our museum in Philadelphia or get on our website at chemheritage.org. For the Chemical Heritage Foundation, I'm Kathy Tussler, and thanks for watching.